Hello friends, this video is an introduction to a series of videos uh, that discuss the topic of segmentation. So uh, segmentation is basically try to find um, neighboring pixels that can be grouped together. Okay, and uh, we want these group, these groups are actually called uh, segments or also classes uh, and they usually represent something that is uh, meaningful or, or a part of uh, something meaningful. For example, it can be a car or a dog, an airplane, a chair, anything that has a meaning. This is what we want to get as a segment, right? Um, so the, uh, the segmentation is actually very important because it's the basis of a lot of computer vision uh, tasks such as the recognition. Uh, so if we have a bad segmentation, then the recognition results would be uh, poor. Uh, for this reason, uh, segmentation is, um, is very important, right? And also not easy. It's difficult, especially in, in non-trivial cases. Just let's imagine that we want to detect a um, tiger in a forest, so uh, this would be a complicated, uh, complicated thing to do. Okay, so to make things easier, what we usually do is that we try to control the environment. And we can do that, uh, especially in um, industrial inspections. Okay, and in, in industrial inspections, we can uh, control the environment by controlling the light and the background, basically. And this can make the segmentation task um, very uh, 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 much easier as compared with non-controlled environments, okay? Uh, but it is in it inevitable uh, to have non-controlled environments. For example, if we want to, to detect animals in a forest scene, so uh, what we would do in that case, it is difficult to control that environment. So in this case, we can uh, act on the type of sensor we have. So instead of using a visible range sensor, we can go ahead and use a thermal sensor uh, because the animal's body has a high reflectance in, uh, for thermal images, okay? And this makes, again, the segmentation task uh, uh, much uh, easier as compared with visible range images. So there are um, a lot of uh, approaches um, for segmentation and in this uh, series of videos I have the intention to discuss the detection of discontinuities approach, the thresholding approach, split and merge, and clustering. And there are uh, other approaches if you want to go and uh, learn them. There is the graph cut graph cuts, there is uh, level sets, and also the uh, morphological watersheds. Okay, so let's go ahead and discuss the detection of discontinuities.